Hey there, it's Rob the Ignorant Entrepreneur. I don't know if the stars are aligning or what's going on, but information is just coming to me in waves. All these keys is just suddenly coming to me. I don't know what it is. But somehow this gym flew into my lap. And I gotta say, I think that you need to hear this because this is just great information that I don't think a lot of people know. And I heard it through some beef. You got Logan Paul, famous YouTuber and Spanish megastar Bad Bunny in the middle of this. And it all started after Bad Bunny released the documentary based on his music video, El Apagón. Basically putting at the center criticism for this Act 22 law that I'm going to go in depth with that essentially allows you to pay zero income tax and some federal taxes when you're a foreigner that's moving over into Puerto Rico. Now, that foreigner title is going to apply to U.S. residents in particular, even though Puerto Rico is a territory. You know how weird it is. Honestly, in my opinion, they should just make Puerto Rico state at this point. So keep that in mind. Foreigner moving into Puerto Rico. So in Bad Bunny's documentary that he released, he actually had a clip of Logan Paul that was not too flattering. Now, keep in mind, he's already being called a colonizer by locals trying to resist the gentrification of the wealthy trying to avoid taxes. This was just a few days ago, Logan Paul was in a YouTube interview with Philip DeFranco, and he was basically saying how it was hypocritical because he thought that Bad Bunny was utilizing the same tax breaks that he was. The internet is actually backing Bad Bunny because his news outlets have reported Bad Bunny's from Puerto Rico. The Act 22 law, which we'll get into a little bit later, Act 22 law only applies to wealthy foreigners that move in and invest in real estate, not domestic people, right? But, you know, Bad Bunny's not hurting for cash anyway. Uh, but still, I mean, if you're making a lot of money and I, I know that he's getting billions of views for his videos over there, I don't know. He's probably got some good lawyers, so I'm not going to feel sorry for him. But yeah, as you can see, the L is as clear as the L's Logan's given out in boxing. Logan, you're out of here. To the meat of this, to what's really important and what I want to let you guys know is more about this law. In fact, Puerto Rico just had its first net positive migration from other parts of the U.S. in nearly two decades from 2019 because of it, Okay. When COVID swept the nation, you had a lot of digital nomads, digital entrepreneurs move over to Puerto Rico to kind of save up from the tax break that they give you, especially when it comes to crypto and other things, because you don't have to pay that income tax. That could be 40% of the money you're bringing in, right? That's huge. I mean, if you're super rich, if you're not super rich, especially if you're not super rich and you're paying 40% on your taxes and you don't have to pay that 40%, oh, you're caking. I mean, that's something that anybody who's making a lot of money or trying to be an entrepreneur would at least consider. You got billionaires and trillion dollar companies here avoiding the taxes as much as they can. Can I at least get a little break myself? I'm not even close. I mean, can I pay less taxes than the billionaires? Come on, bruh. And so if you're like me, you're, you're probably like wondering, what's the catch? What is this Act 22? Well, Act 22 is the Individual Investors Act that seeks to attract new residents to Puerto Rico by providing a total exemption from Puerto Rico income tax on all passive income realized or cured after such individuals become bona fide residents of Puerto Rico. This relocation should result in new local investments in real estate services and other consumer products and in capital objections to the Puerto Rico banking sector all of which will stimulate the economy of Puerto Rico. And that last sentence will tell you why Puerto Rico is doing it. You have a lot of other countries in the world that are doing this too, by the way. Uh, I know that Bali is also has a similar program where if you live there for two years, you're able to essentially live tax-free. Um, you have to stay there, you know, a certain amount of days in the year. In the case of this Act 22, it is 183 days. But listen, you can see exactly how they word it as far as the Puerto Rico income taxes and even federal income taxation. So that's passive income. And then we also have capital gain exemptions. So, I mean, this is huge. And it just goes to show that, again, you can often find some gems, even when it comes to something completely random, like a beef or some drama. And for me, it seems like the stars are aligning or I'm looking in the right places, but I'm starting to hear things referenced in multiple different videos that I'm listening to podcasts. This is something I hope to share for you guys. And let me know what you guys think. Are you moving to Puerto Rico? I'm going to be considering it. Shoot, really depends on if I can make this money with options and leverage crypto futures. Not to mention this little NFT alpha discord subscription model I'm looking at. Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been the Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.